Hello, I'm Steven, the calculator guy, also the founder of DeFi Dojo, the most knowledgeable Discord in all of crypto. And today I'm going to walk you through how to open up a funding rate arbitrage position using MEXC and DYDX. Why MEXC and DYDX? Well, uh, MEXC is the centralized exchange that I use for perpetuals, and DYDX is the decentralized exchange that has the most perpetual options. And I'd like to keep at least one foot in both doors to hedge my risk there. So, we also have affiliations with Mexi and kind of DYDX. They do decentralized affiliate links. Um, so if you use these, you can get 10% off your fees on Mexi and 5% off your fees on DYDX. All right, without further ado, let's jump in. You may have remembered that I did a video on this tool last week. Uh, we've cleaned up this tool a little bit, made it a little more streamlined. So now you can see uh, if you type in the asset you want to check here, uh, you can put days here. And it'll tell you what the average funding rates were over that time, as well as give you a nice sum in that same time frame. So you can see in the past 10 days, if you were long on Solana on Maxi, you would have made 1.9% on that long position. Uh, likewise, if you were short on Bybit, you would have made 0.073% on that uh, position. So down here, once you find out what the best long and best short is, you can choose those exchanges so we can use, choose uh, Bybit here and you can see what your projected APY is given the leverage. So if you're at 2x leverage, which is generally what I use, you can see that you'll be getting 73% uh, annualized. Now, what does that mean? It means you'll be getting uh, pretty much pennies on Bybit, but you'll be getting a lot on Mexi to keep that long position open. Now, these APRs are, are not to be considered like fixed uh, projections of your future yield. Rather, they're simply ways to contextualize the current yield. Um, because generally speaking, when I talk to people, they understand APRs. They understand like what they will get each day or each month based off of the, an annualized yield. So, uh, and if you want a more realistic or more reliable, you can look at the the ten day sum historically and imagine that's probably closer to what you might get in the future. So, in another ten days, you are you may get another two percent here, or you know, one point eight percent. Okay, uh, so once you understand this tool, it's very simple to use, right? Blues are inputs, greens are outputs. So you just change your exchange and your leverage. Uh, we'll use DYDX because that's what we're gonna be going through. I don't want sex, sex exposure. Uh, I'd rather have sex, dex exposure. So <clears throat> that's what we'll be doing. All right, let's talk about DYDX first. So let's say we wanna open this particular position, a Solana position with short and long. And maybe you don't wanna do Solana, maybe you wanna do something else. We'll look at Link. I think that's another one with, with pretty decent uh, funding actually. And so if we do Link, um, uh, Link looks like it's probably better for, yeah, maybe not Link. Maybe we'll do EOS. It's another position that I'm in. I don't mind showing you guys that one. I opened up three positions yesterday. Uh, after building this tool, and we'll switch these around, uh, DYDX, MEXC. So it's about 42, 43% annualized. So let's look at this, right? How would we open this position? Well, first we need to fund our DYDX account. That is super easy. Just get USDC or USDT, um, USDC I would recommend, onto your uh, Ethereum mainnet wallet, and then click on deposit on DYDX. If you are an American, you will need to use a VPN. Uh, don't have any sponsorships there, but I use ExpressVPN. NordVPN is also an option. Any VPN will work. Uh, I don't have a preference. I just use the one that was the most popular. So you can see I have $2,000 in my EVM, Ethereum mainnet wallet. I would confirm deposit. I don't, I've already deposited enough. I don't want to deposit any more to DYDX because I like to hedge my exposures. Uh, so you can see in my portfolio now I have about 13,000 on DYDX. Now, if I want to open the position, I would go to trade. But before I do that, I want to mention when you open these positions, because you want to be as delta neutral as possible, initially, you should also get your other exchange ready. So we're going to go over to MEXC and also get ready. Uh, so let's just go EOS, EOS. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to be shorting on, no, I'll be long on DYDX. This is a long side. 
long side, short side. So I'll be longing on dy dx and I'll be shorting on max c. So when you're on dy dx, you want to make sure you're buying. Buying means longing, selling means shorting. Uh, and why that is is because when you sell, you're not actually selling any assets you have, you're flash buying a contract and selling that contract, uh, which is related to a certain amount of, of assets. So uh, we'll be like flash buying a contract that, that uh, represents 100 EOS and selling it, and then if EOS goes down in value and I close on position, I, I buy that contract back for less money, hence the profit of shorting, um, and you know, transfer the contract. So selling, selling just means shorting, Buying just means longing. Uh, we'll keep it simple. And you, all the stuff I just said, you don't have to think about. Um, it really is uh, much simpler than that. So sell means short, buy means long. Okay, so let's go over to MEXC. Uh, once you have your MEXC account, it's, uh, you will fund it through wallets. Click on wallet, deposit. You can choose a whole bunch of different chains. Uh, if you've used a centralized exchange before, which I imagine you must have to, to, if you're seeing my videos, you know enough crypto to do that. Then you go over to futures and USDTM. You will need USDT. You can use USDC as well, but they have fewer options. Uh, and so I generally use USDT, though I'm not. I'm not opposed. You can see all the ones that I'm currently that I currently have open uh, for funding my arbitrage. And don't copy me because there are better options out there. These are just the ones that I opened last night. Uh, and if we all do the same positions, they they may not work out. There are plenty of positions out there. So, you know, do your own research. Check out a few different uh, uh, options here. So deposit, you'll click deposit to transfer the USDT from your from your wallet, your uh, trading spot wallet to your futures wallet. So we'll just click deposit here. I don't think I have any funds currently in my spot wallet. Nope, not deposit. We'll click transfer. Uh, transfer from spot to futures. I have zero, but you would transfer those to get them into your futures wallet. And we're going to be shorting on MEXC. So I'm going to go over to EOS. EOS. And then I'm going to change my leverage here. Uh, so if I am shorting, I want to go to short. Now I do 2x leverage. That's just me. Uh, you can change it up to 20 or 50. Geez. Um, but I'm going to do 2 because that's within my risk tolerance and I can monitor these positions quite frequently. Uh, and liquidation is not something that I'm gonna to be too worried about because it's gonna be so far away that if I monitor daily, uh, I should be okay. Okay, so you can see the long here, right, right now it's set at 20. If you wanna move that down to two, you can also do that just as a, just to make sure you're not doing any ridiculous leverage. And then let's say you wanna be on EOS Okay, uh, so let's say we're doing 100 EOS. So I already have an EOS position open, otherwise I would open this. Um, I could open a different position. Uh, but anyways, you would click open short. And when you open short, it will open the position uh, immediately if you're using market. You can also use limit. Now I will say, I'm not, I do like limit orders. Uh, in fact, limit orders are, are best for the best opening, but when I'm dealing with 20, 30% APRs, I'm not that concerned with getting the best opening price because I'm opening two positions simultaneously, and if we go crazy in one direction right after I open, it may be the case I didn't get to open the other leg, and now uh, I could have been, uh, I may have some realized loss there. So what I do is I market order both of them at the same time, understanding that I might take like a 0.5% a hit on my principal immediately for sort of making that bet that I'll make that back in funding range. So I do use market. I know some people might be like, how dare you use market? Uh, but I do. So I'll use market for this only for funding rate arbitrage. So let's say 100 here. I get that ready. I come over here. A short uh, 100 here. So short, oh, short on maxi, long on DUDX. Always triple check. So I'm going to buy 100 over here. I'm going to short 100 over here. At the same time. Now, one thing to note is that with MEXC, these are isolated margin. You can make them unisolated, uh, but they they the default is isolated margin, which is really nice because then you can set your uh, leverage, and that is your leverage. So I'm saying 2x leverage, isolated, 
100 EOS, which means effectively I'm paying half the price of that. So I'm paying $46 for this position, which is worth $92. On DYDX, it's shared margin. So effectively what's gonna happen is my account leverage is, is barely gonna be, a, barely gonna move at all. And my initial leverage on this is gonna be 0 0.41, 0.41, which is uh, negligible. So I would buy, um, again, I'm using market orders. Uh, I click place market order, boom. It'll immediately do it, done, placed. Same thing over here, click short. There'll be a prompt. Uh, I think it's, it'll just say confirm, click confirm, boom, it'll be placed. Then you're done. You've opened up your funding rate arbitrage position. Congratulations. Now, how do you check your funding? Well, let's check on DYDX first. So here you can click on payments uh, and then, was that right? No. Uh, orders, bills, payments. No, this isn't right. I like this chart for funding. Um, and it shows the funding rate. Thought the funding was gonna be, oh, it is here. Okay, it's just loading slowly. Uh, or I've only had two funding rounds so far. Is the funding for this only, it says one hour. So I don't know why it's doing this. Maybe it's only showing me the past two hours, which is strange. But that's okay. So you can see over the past two hours, I've been paid 11 cents here and uh, 7 cents here. So each of these payments is a funding rate payment. And if you wanted to have uh, all of the payments sort of together, you would go over to portfolio, then history, then funding, and you will see all of your funding rate payments. So you can see uh, most it's very Christmassy, but these funding rate payments mostly green, which means I am a net positive on my funding rates over here, which is excellent. That's what I wanted to be. Uh, I want to make money from funding while being delta neutral. So this is how you would calculate your profit as well. You would just have some sort of sheet where you start off and every, every day maybe you add up all the funding payments from that day. Um, a bit tedious, certainly, uh, but I like to keep track of all my positions. Then on next C, you go over to capital flow and then type funding fees, and this will show you all of your funding rates. So here you're gonna see it more negative because my positions are such that I am paying to have these open, but I'm paying less than I'm making. Uh, so that's the major difference. Now also, for MEXC, the funding rate is every eight hours, not every hour. So you can see I have much fewer for these positions, uh, my Solana, CeeLo, EOS, than I have for my DYDX, which is hourly. Um, so I only have, you know, this, oh, look at that. CeeLo funding was crazy high uh, for whatever reason. This is gonna take me a while to recover from, but you know, that's the game you play. Uh, and I actually made one in EOS, which is pretty cool. So there you go. I have now opened my positions and I can now track them. Very cool. Now, when would you close these positions? Uh, that's a great question. I'm glad that I asked myself. You would close these positions when the funding flips against you. When does the funding flip against you? When the price relative to the index price switches. So let's say right now I'm getting paid on DYDX to hold this Solana position open, right? Go to trade, go to Solana. Ba, 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 ba. Right now I'm getting paid quite a bit uh, because the quite a bit to long because what they call this is the mark price. The mark price is lower than the index price. So I'm getting paid to hold this position open as long. Now, this position becomes unprofitable when this goes above this, when the mark goes above the index, because then I will have to pay to keep this position open. So when this goes above this, I stop making funding. However, however, I can now exit my long position at a premium because the mark price is higher. Remember when you're long and the price goes up, that's good for you. The mark price goes up relative to the index. So now if I exit my long there, I actually get a premium. I get paid more relative to when I entered. Uh, so that's also one of these one of these nice sort of win-win uh, situations where you enter a long when the mark is below the index and you exit a long when it's above the index. Uh, now, in an ideal situation, the reverse is true on the other exchange you're arbitraging, but it's not always the case. Basically, what I recommend is having a rule. My particular rule is a 1% to 3% drawdown. So 
if the funding rates flip against me after I open a position, which can happen, it hasn't happened yet, knock on wood, and I've been doing this for about six months, uh, if the funding rates flip against you immediately after you open your position, uh, which can happen, and you lose like 1% of your principal due to uh, unfavorable funding rates, maybe that's your rule, you exit, and you look for a different opportunity. Um, my rule is one, two, three percent, depending on how volatile the funding rates are and depending on my conviction level in that particular trade. Like I know sometimes the funding rates go up and down pretty dramatically, but they tend to be more positive or tend to be more negative for an asset. Uh, so based off of that, I will, you know, be within that one to three percent. But after three percent, I'm penny or loose. If I got negative three percent, that's that is my risk tolerance. I am looking for a new opportunity. Uh, so so I recommend having those rules. Those rules can save you um, from, from losses. Uh, and really, you should have rules. Um, I, I often use this example that one of my community members uh, left Anchor when UST went to 98.5 cents because that was her rule. She said, if it depegs to this particular number, I'm out because that's her rule. Like, and even if it repegged, she would not look back because she had a rule you know, saved, saved well into six figures uh, with that rule. And I have many, many situations very similar to that for myself where my rules save me. So please have some rules and, and uh, abide by those rules. Okay, so again, this is a pretty, it seems complex at first, but it's really not. Basically what you do is you find a strategy using this calculator. Um, and if we do add decentralized exchanges, which is gonna take a lot of manpower and work, we're probably gonna leave that just for the uh, Discord members. Um, because it's gonna be very difficult to, to create and integrate, uh, and I don't wanna give everything away for free. So this, is, this tool is already amazing. So find an opportunity here, and then uh, you know, use these affiliate links to, to get fee uh, reductions, then make sure you're ready to open both positions at the same time, double check which one's long and which one's short. So, you know, EOS, okay, uh, long DYDX, short MXC, long, Short, got it. Make sure you're doing the same notional notional amount. So like 100, I know this is Solana, 100 here, 100 here, right? And then you open the positions at the same time within a few seconds and that's it. And then you track your profits because that's how you'll know whether you should be exiting or not. All right guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I do wanna say that one member of the DeFi Dojo Discord actually created a Python script that goes through every single potential arbitrage opportunity that can be entered into this calculator uh, and spits out which ones are the best. And I have just been mind blown by the intellectual capital that our community has. If you would like to uh, see things like that and have this beautiful report that tells you all of the best opportunities using this calculator, uh, then please consider joining the DeFi Dojo Discord. Um, we do increase the price on the uh, 2023, so the first of the new year. I've been saying this since we started, that the end goal for the price of the dojo was $50, which will be starting at the 2023. Now, we've been saying this for about six months now. Uh, this shouldn't come as too much of a surprise, but if you join now, then you will, you will lock in the current rate. I also get a free month. And if you don't like it, you can leave without ever paying anything and still having locked in that rate just in case uh, you do want to stay which I think you probably will. So consider that. Um, all right, that is it, guys. Link to this calculator in the description. And if you have any questions, uh, you can join the free portion of the DeFi Dojo Discord and, and I will do my best to answer them uh, with the time that I have. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.